Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I want to demonstrate how to download and install a tiny piece of software called Touchpad Pal. It works on Windows machines only. Now I've recently made another video in which I've demonstrated another piece of free software called Touchpad Blocker and Touchpad Pale does the same thing. It stops the touchpad on your laptop from working when you are typing. Now this hopefully solves the age-old problem of the cursor suddenly moving to a different position on the page when we're trying to type. Now this is annoying enough if you can see the screen and you can see what's happened but it becomes much more annoying if you have a visual impairment and you can't see what's happening because it takes those people even more time to recognize that the cursor has moved to a different point on the page and then it takes them more time to get the cursor back to where it was previ previously. Like anything to do with computers there are many different ways to do the same thing. Some laptops have keys on the keyboard that enable you to switch the touchpad on and off and on other laptops you can just adjust the software settings to disable the touchpad. Touchpad Pal works in the background and it disables itself after a key on the keyboard is pressed. After you've downloaded it, it puts a shortcut on the desktop. desktop. Now importantly, the software seems safe. Since I have downloaded it, nothing horrible has happened to my machine. I'm not getting any pop-ups. I'm not getting going to mysterious pages on my web page. So it seems nice and safe. Okay, so let's have a go at downloading it and let's see if it works. So you can see here, this is the address that I'm at in order to um, download Touch, Touchpad Pal. Now again this is a complicated page, don't be confused by all the adverts and stuff. You just want this download, this green download button at the top, so just click on that. And then it takes you to another page that says down, download one. And there we go, it's already downloaded itself. So once it's downloaded, just tell it to run itself and then you'll go through this setup guide. Again, we're just going to click next or install or I agree. And there it goes. So we just click finish, we want it to run itself. And you can see once you've installed it, you've got a shortcut here and you've also got a little icon on your notification bar down there as well. And I'm just going to test it out. Now the interesting thing is touchpad blocker had a whole range of options that you can control. Touchpad pal doesn't. If I right click on it and ask it to open itself, or sorry if we go down to here, if we go down to the, the icon in the notifications and click on settings, um, it's then going to try and take you to another web page where they're trying to sell you some software. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about the fact you can't control it. It's just it it just works. So let's test it out, or hopefully it just works. So let's go to another web page. And what I'm going to do is here I'm using my touchpad, obviously. Um, and I can and I'm also typing but then with my left hand I'm just going to hit a key on the keyboard and with my right hand I'm going to try to move the cursor with the touchpad and if the software works as it's typing letters in it um, the cursor will stop moving right so here we go So I'm trying to move the cursor and you can see that it is frozen. 
and then as soon as I stop typing anything in I can move the cursor around the screen again. So it just seems to work. As usual if you have any comments or experiences of downloading or using this piece of software leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.